Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS Advisory Council Issues 2022 Annual Report. Advisory Council. Uh, you know, I'm a little suspicious of advisors, counselors, and therapists these days, to be honest. I mean, like, if these IRS advisors are anything like my grade school kids, social advisors, we're going to end up talking to IRS agents with, like, blue hair and green lipstick demanding we refer to them as some kind of porpoise for some reason. I mean, the d dang counselors, they'll probably try to convince them that the country born as a democratic republic is actually some kind of tyranny. And so we need to take like tyranny hormones or something administered through the required viewing of MSNBC. Just kidding. The IRS Advisory Council is often actually has some good advice. So let's check it out. But first a joke. How does one truly show compassion in America these days? Answer, you vote for mentally unfit people to lead you. Of course. If you do wish to stay, well, we have just a job for you. And all there is. But wait, isn't it cruel to put somebody in a position they can't possibly handle? Picking up your sarcasm. Answer, no. Standing them at a podium, asking them questions, and then nodding at the gibberish coming out of their mouth? Well, I should hope so, because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Like a mother might nod at a five-year-old child, expressing his thoughts about the decline of Rome? Is the truly compassionate thing to do. Oh, come on, bitch. Oh, that sounds good. Melted chocolate inside the dice, that really ups the resale value. We're like, you're right, little leader. Large wooden horses are bad. And yes, we can lower inflation by spending massive amounts of money to like burn all the large wooden horses in the world and display the spectacle on the public square of Twitter. I think you're gonna be okay here. They have a thin, hmm. I'm surprised you didn't know that. I think your brain is a thick candy shell. That'll, that'll fix stuff. Your, um, your brain has the shell on it. Are you talking? Shut up, Richard. Yes, your wish will be done, little leader. Fortunately, you now have the unchecked power of the pen. In place of a dark lord, you would have a queen. Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as the dawn. Uh, wait a second, hold on, sir. That's that's not a good idea. I think you're overreacting. I know, sir, that it is a really big wooden horse that they left on the White House lawn, but it's just a pinata. Do we really need to hit it with a nuclear weapon? Is that really necessary, sir? It seems a little extreme. Yeah. Oh my god, he just entered the new nuclear codes. So the combination is... One, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life. That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage. IR 2022-200, November 15th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service Advisory Council, the IRSAC, today issued its annual report for 2022. There's a link to that here, including recommendations to the IRS on a new and continuing issues in tax administration. The 2022 public report includes recommendations on 21 issues covering a broad range of topics, including IRS business and information technology modernization, reduction in electronic filing threshold for information return filers, alignment of electronic signature requirements on withholding certificates, accelerated issuance of IRS form 6166, certification of U.S. residency. There's a link to that here. The examination customer coordination and innovation office 
quite the title, quite the name to that office. Series 8038 form redesign and updates business master file BMF transcript delivery service. That's the TDS. In addition, the report, quote, emphasizes the need for consistent and multi-year funding for the IRS to achieve its goals of providing efficient, effective, modern service to the nation's taxpayers, end quote. It also, quote, provides targeted feedback to improve the taxpayer experience while supporting crucial enforcement efforts and navigating a rapidly changing digital environment, end quote. The IRS AC service as a federal advisory committee to the IRS commissioner that provides an organized public forum for discussion of relevant tax administration issues between IRS officials and representatives of the public. IRS AC members uh, offer constructive observations regarding current or proposed IRS policies, programs, and procedures. The IRSAC is administrator, administered under the Federal Advisory Committee Act of the Office of National Public Liaison, part of IRS Communications and Liaison, and draws its members from the taxpaying public, the tax professional community, representatives of low-income community, small and large businesses, tax-exempt and government entities, the payroll industry, and academia. So quite a broad reach of folks uh, in this group here, or that's the goal at least. Five subgroups report to the parent council. You got the information reporting, large business and international, small business, self-employed, tax-exempt government entities, wage and investment. Acting Commissioner Doug O'Donnell and IRS executives thanked 10 members of the council whose terms end this year. So I, I won't read these. You can, you can go through and check them out if you want to. Uh, see who has been commemorated here. Otherwise, I'll just butcher their names. They don't look like very difficult names. I probably could have done it, but no, I won't do that. And then, so you can, there'll be a link to this in the description. So if you want to see what the recommendations were in more detail, check it out. It, it, sometimes they have some uh, interesting recommendations. We'll see what the IRS, then we can see what the IRS actually does with them, if anything, you know, going forward. And uh, there'll be a link to this in the description.